Hi guys, how is it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the next package manager on your phone. Yes, just like you heard now. And I believe it's something really awesome. You should try it yourself. First of all, you need to have a Android installed it on your phone. If you want to do that, you can watch my other video. And it's quite simple. You just go to Google and type F-Droid, you will be directed to the website, you download and then you install. You need to enable installing from unknown sources. So we go to our F-Droid application, type Nix, you look for it, type here, no, sorry, Nix. The name of the application is Nix on Droid. This application or this package manager is well known. So many YouTubers and so many people talk about it. You can install it on Linux. You can have it installed it on a Linux distribution called Nix, Nix OS by default. And that uh, Nix OS uh, Linux distribution, so many people like to use it and it's good. Some people migrated from Arch Linux to it. Uh, you have also the op possibility to install it on any other Linux distribution as an extra package manager and then you can install it on Mac OS it's called Linux on Darwin maybe one day we're gonna make the demonstration for or a demonstration on how to do it how to install Nix package manager on Mac OS you can see here an overview about it it's gonna be very similar to our Termix that we, we were using and you need to it's gonna be like a CLI uh, application so if you're not familiar with CLI or at least you're not familiar with Termix you can follow along on installing m multiple applications on Termix on, and installing Termix itself never, never worry about it it's quite simple you'll get along with it if you ever started trying it so here it says, no, this, stuff, this software is alpha quality. So it's still an alpha version. It can be a little buggy. You may face some problems with it. It doesn't require root. Just like uh, F-Droid and Termix, you don't need to have the root privileges to install them. Just keep that in your mind. And let me remind you that this is not an emulator. This is a connection, a VNC connection from my computer to my phone. The VNC server is on my phone. I have a video on that. So now it's installing the Nix package manager. Or call it, it's called it for Android, Nix Android. And then we have it installed. It's here. or the last thing I reached was letting the bootstrap install and I tried such thing on a device but it did not work there was something like a bug or something and I switched it to another one and I, and I guess now it works fine so I thought of uh, showing you the results that I get after you let the package Nix Android it's, uh, it's very similar to Termix you let it uh, download its own bootstrap stuff, it takes some time, sometimes it gives you here, you can see here and this VNC connection and the phone is here you can see that the phone is here it's very similar to what you see on the screen so it gives you a prompt to choose to install Flakes or not so I chose yes and then it takes some time to, all, uh, to install all these things and then, like this, it says to you congratulations, now you have Nix installed with some default packages like Bash Interactive and so on. I try to install some packages, did not install because probably I have to install other stuff first. So we will run these commands, they will help us have full have the installation working or I will, I will have to type them so Nix just like uh, the installation of 
next package manager on almost any distro aside from Nix itself it's supposed to be some somehow similar to this so it's about uh, adding these repositories to our Nixon droid this is the first command and then we have the option to add the other two ones all right Last one. And then we use X channel and then update. there is any error about the previous commands it will appear now remember to prepare some space on your phone so you can use Nix Android conveniently because it requires some space at least maybe one gigabyte or something and of course if you want to install extra packages you will have uh, to prepare spare space for them depending on the size of your package itself our installation is almost uh, done it takes some time unpacking channels as it says here so probably we can try to install a package by running the usual command yep it's working and that's quite good you will have extra packages uh, on your Android if we try to on your Android from your from Nix package manager this is LF the package that we recently or we just installed right now let's try to run it it's working as you can see and that's quite cool let's try to install let's stop it will work so far yeah it's working the installation is working and the package is supposed to work just like for LF so the installation is done we can try to run edge top it's supposed to run yep it's working here we can try to install new fetch now we can run new fetch well it's supposed to work of course yep I guess that's it for this video, thank you for watching, see you in another one.